My YouTube shorts have been flying high for a while now, since last year already actually. And so when YouTube activated shorts monetization in February, I was excited because millions of views means millions of dollars, right? So my brain went into overdrive. What am I gonna do with all that money? Should I buy a new camera that I don't need or five? Or should I just get a Tesla Cybertruck? And I don't even like the Tesla Cybertruck, but you know, help me troll it. But then I saw my first shorts revenue. Hmm, millions of views, but it doesn't even cover the 100 bucks I need to pre-order the Cybertruck. How disappointing. But I found a way, guys. I found a way to, yeah, almost 10x one of my income streams by leveraging the power of YouTube shorts, the reach that they get. And I'm gonna give you some tips because anyone can do this, you just have to do it the right way, I guess. But first, let me tell you what it is. The secret is, well, the secret that's not really a secret, it's affiliate marketing, affiliate links, and you all know how it works, right? You put a link in the description or the comments of a video, and whenever someone clicks on that link and buys something, you get a commission. Simple. But when my shorts started exploding last year, I wasn't really thinking about ways to monetize them. YouTube also didn't offer the feature back then, so yeah, I forgot. I was getting a lot of views, but that's it. But now, last February, when they turned on monetization, and after a month I saw how disappointing it was, I thought, hmm, there must be another way to make more money off of shorts. There must be a way to turn those millions of views into, well, not millions of dollars, not a one-to-one -one ratio, but at least more than what I was getting out of it. And so I started adding affiliate links to my shorts. And, well, let me just show you. For example, this is my Amazon affiliate links revenue. See, three months ago, it was okay, not a lot, between 100 and 200 bucks each month, it was a nice extra. But see here, all of a sudden that spike? And now let me show you my shorts views graph. See, it's almost exactly the same. When my shorts views spike, my affiliate sales also spike. And instead of 100, 200 bucks each month, it's already over a thousand bucks now. And that's just from Amazon affiliates. So, I mean, it's definitely worth giving it a try because it doesn't cost anything to you or whoever buys something through your links. So let me give you some tips on how to use affiliate links with YouTube Shorts. First of all, most of my shorts are not ads for a specific product or brand. I usually don't mention brands in my shorts. My shorts are informational. So when I make a short about a piece of gear, for example, let's say a 35 millimeter lens, I show my 35 millimeter, which is the Sony 35 millimeter 1.8, but the short is not about the Sony specifically. It's about the 35 millimeter lens. It's about the focal length 35 millimeter, not the Sony 35 millimeter. And so I'm not telling people you have to buy the Sony because it's the best one. No, because for some people it is, for some people it isn't. I'm just giving information and my opinion. And then it's up to the viewer to decide if they want to buy a 35mm or not. But the point is that I add multiple links to my YouTube Shorts. Different options from different brands that I think are good options. Because then you also reach a wider audience. You know what I mean? And even if one of my shorts is about a specific brand or a specific piece of gear that I like or use, because now that I think about it, I've done a few of those recently, like my short about the Surrey 35 mm anamorphic lens, for example, the smallest one in the world, well, I also don't want it to feel like an ad for that brand or something like that, because it's not an ad. I show what it does, why I like it or why I find it interesting, I show the possibilities, and then again, it's up to the viewer to decide if it's something they need or want in their life or not, based on that information. I never say things like, oh, you have to buy this right now because it will make your work 10 times better. No, of course not, because I don't know if it will. Or my last short that I made about my new external hard drive. Again, I show what it does, I show what the benefits are of that type of external hard drive. Not the brand or model, just that type. And then I put a link to the one I'm using in the description. But I never say, this is the best one. This is the one you have to buy because it's better than another brand. No, I'm just saying, this is the one I'm using, I like it, and do whatever you want with that information. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here because I find it difficult to explain. Maybe you noticed. Anyway, that's how I think you reach the most people with your shorts. Don't make ads, make informational videos. Okay.
And what I also do, and this is something I think you should definitely start doing if you're using affiliate links with shorts or long videos, but definitely with shorts, put your links in a pinned comment. Because I've noticed that people who watch shorts don't go to the description of the video. And even when I put links in the pinned comment, I still get questions like, where's the link? What brand is it? What brand should I buy? So, you know, it seems like watching shorts is not the same as watching long videos. People don't find their way to the comments or the description. And that's also why I've now started experimenting with putting a call to action in my shorts, like link in the description or link in the comments. I don't have any results yet because I just started doing it, but I'm sure that my conversion rate will go up a little bit. I'll let you know. And then my last tip, there's more than Amazon affiliates. I use a lot of affiliate links from Amazon because, you know, it works, but also for the music that I use, the motion graphics, all kinds of stuff. So make sure that you use the right program, the right product for your short. Make sure that it's a good match. And that's about it. So if your short's revenue is as disappointing as mine, maybe start doing this and let me know when you're ordering your Cybertruck. Salut.